Hey, I'm Mark, and today I'm going to be cutting four pulleys for a cable. I'm building a sawmill, and I need uh, some cables to help lift the thing. First thing I want to do is get it trued up. I need to put a center hole in it. Now let's get started. Just bore a little hole, and we'll put a live center in it and hold it true. Each pulley is going to be about an inch wide with a 3 8 inch groove for a quarter inch cable. This is a live center. It's basically like a center punch, but it's on a bearing. So it will hold it true during the process. Give myself as much room as I can here. And we'll make a quick <clears throat> truing of the face of it. I'm going to go ahead and screw up about five inches of it to allow for four one inch wide pulleys. I'll cut each pulley off on my cutoff saw. I have a special blade for cutting aluminum. Yeah, it's just a little quicker than cutting it here on the lathe. And it's not that critical. Five sixteenths from the end to start my groove. And I've got my compound here set at 13 degrees. And we'll only use this side to turn it in, cut it one time. Only one side of the tool is cutting. I went straight in. Right at three eighths. I'll put a mark here with a pin right at one inch. 
and make a groove. Just do it by hand. And that will let me know where I gotta make my cut with the saw. And we'll move over an inch and an eighth for the thickness of my saw blade. And I'll make another cut. saw blade. Now we'll come over three eighths of an inch from there. I meant five sixteenths. Same thing again. Now the next thing I have to do is bore a half inch hole all the way through it. I just hooked up my steady rest, so now we can back out the center, hold it in place, and we'll set up the one inch, uh, the half inch drill bit. Get it out of the steady rest and go cut each one in the saw. Well, that's all there is to it. We'll put it on the sawmill, 
Appreciate y'all watching.